we talked about the calm, even keel demeanor of Spurs rookie Stefan Castle. Second rounder Harrison Ingram, on the other hand, wears his emotion on his sleeve. The six foot seven forward, born and raised in Dallas, went one on one with our Nick Mantis to see how his first week in the NBA is going. Hey guys, yeah, I'm here with Harrison Ingram, one of the newest San Antonio Spurs, who you in a viral video the other day got to say that you shook Tim Duncan's hand and you're not washing your hand for over a year. So that's Tim Duncan, man. He's dabbed me up. I'm not washing my hand for like a year. First off, what was that moment like and have you washed your hand since then? I, I've washed my hand. I, you know, I was playing around. <laughs> you know, that moment was crazy. You know, just to, first of all, just to be in the NBA is, is in the South is crazy. To be on the Spurs organization is even you know, another step and then to meet Tim Duncan, the, the legend of the Spurs and, you know, he's just down to earth I and mean, he just walking around here. I mean, I'm, I didn't even know I was going to meet him. They didn't say anything. I was just walking around, just ate lunch, had my hat on, family was in the background. We just got in here and all of a sudden I see, I'm like, I'm like is, that Tim? is that Tim Duncan? Look at Steph Castle. I'm like, you see him? He's like, bro, I'm like, that's, that's crazy, you know. Shook his hand, talked to him a little bit, you know, down to earth guy. Um, he seemed a little quiet, but, you know, I mean, it's, that's Tim Duncan. So I didn't really have much to say. I was trying to listen to him and just get some feedback. Kind of took my second question there, but how have you gotten acclimated to not just being here in San Antonio? It's a little bit different when it comes to the heat, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit, especially this time of the year, just being here and, and getting to feel your new life as an NBA player. Right, you know, I'm from Dallas, so you know, I'm I'm used to the heat, I'm used to all the stuff that San Antonio comes with. But you know, for me, just it's it's weird to be here and be an NBA player. And I feel like you, know, you get treated a little bit different. You know, you get the access to this facility, and you get to say you're an NBA player. You can say you're on the Spurs. You can work out whenever you want. You can shoot whenever you want. Um, you got trainers with you, guys guarding you every day. So you know, for me, I'm just trying to take it all in and you know, really you know, act like I don't know anything. I mean, I'm asking guys questions, trying to get advice, trying to see what they do to get to the level they're at. When it comes to these next couple of weeks, you get an opportunity to really showcase your talents in this summer league. What are you most looking forward to with that opportunity, knowing you want to try to earn yourself a spot on that, you know, for that roster and not spending time in Austin? Uh, winning. You know, I feel like that's the most important thing is winning and showing how I can impact winning without scoring the ball. You know, if you go to the main team, you know, there's Victor, there's Devin Vassell, there's Steph, there's um, Jeremy. I mean, there's so many different. There's so many different guys who are good guys, but really Victor and Devin. You know, they're getting the ball. Um, it's not my job to dribble and break teams down. It's my job to make their job easier. Whether it's opening threes, uh, rebounding, screening for them. You know, it's knowing how to play the game. I feel like those are things that the coaches will see in the film that aren't on the stat sheet. It's not all about your PPG or your RPG or your APG. I mean, it's not all about the averages or stuff that doesn't show up on the box sheet. That's just as important as that. You're finding your role this entire time. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. Awesome. Thanks for your time. Appreciate, Appreciate it. You. Yeah. Thank you.